morning guys welcome back to the channel my name is Ryan this is auto detour and in today's video we got something very important to do got a really fun video in store for you guys today so I hope you guys stick around a little bit of update here the Viper is back in the driveway uh, Eric from racing Ram fam took it over to the shop and he did a bunch of maintenance stuff on it it's no longer leaking oil replaced the front main seal did a full fluids change front to back along with some other stuff to just uh, keep up with the maintenance on it and uh, it's good to have it back so but today's video is about gramps if you are new to the channel this is my 2003 ford f-150 it is completely stock looking on the outside but as many of you know looks can be a little bit deceiving my truck has a 76 millimeter turbo under the hood at 8.8 .8 psi we made 407 wheel horsepower and 523 foot pounds of torque but that was last year around Thanksgiving time. And now we've been running around about 10 PSI. I have boost cutoff set up at 11. I've hit that a few times now. In today's video, we're gonna be turning up the boost again. Our goal for today is to hit 12 PSI in gramps, kind of see how that feels, see how it responds. Watch our AFRs, make sure we stay nice and rich. So the engine in gramps is still completely stock. It is a 5.4 liter. We have the stock 4R70W transmission and seems to be handling the beating pretty well so far. So what do you guys say we go turn up the boost? All right, so before we pull them out of the garage, uh, I wanna pop the hood real quick, just double check uh, some of the vacuum lines and stuff, make sure everything's good to go. Just cause we have been uh, bumping the boost up over the past few weeks, make sure we haven't blown any lot lines off or anything anything obvious anyway so here you go this is what's under the hood it is a cx racing kit made for a 4.6 liter and it's been modified to fit my 5.4 as you can tell it just barely fits but it performs really well the kit had to be modified both to fit my engine and to make the kit work uh, and you can go check out some past videos see what i had to do to make that happen uh, but let's just check our lines here. Nothing seems to be uh, blown off of the wastegate. Our feed line is still on the front of the turbo there. Uh, I should probably check the oil. That'd probably be important. Be a bummer to come this far. <laughs> Engine lasts this long and you blow it up because you're low on oil. I'm just reaching down there checking the blow-off valve. You probably can't see it. I'll just make sure the line's still connected to the blow-off valve. Up here into the intake. That looks good. Uh, lines onto the boost solenoid over here. This is my map sensor for the boost gauge. Lines look good there. Yeah, everything still looks tip-top. Let's check the oil real quick and we'll head out. Well, fun fact on checking the oil here. The downpipe on the turbo prevents me from getting the oil cap off, so I actually have to fill the oil through the oil dipstick, which takes a little while, but it works. All right, so now we just got to move the Viper out of the way real quick. Should be on our way. So we're headed out here to do a little uh, scientific testing, but the truck did something interesting the other day. 
the blow off valve started making a completely different noise than it usually does. So uh, I don't know if it's a change in the blow off valve or a change in me just upping the, uh, the wastegate pressure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, was, it was kind of an awesome surprise. Usually it just makes, makes the regular the regular air rushing sound when it lets off. But now take a listen to it. got that tur that flutter noise uh sounds really really awesome uh, one more time <laughs> i hope you guys can hear that so i really have no clue why it's doing that the only thing that i've changed is i've upped the pressure on the on the wastegate but i'm not even getting into really any boost and it's making that noise uh, i'm not going to complain because it sounds really awesome but if you guys know why you might be doing that, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. <laughs> so in order to hit uh, 12 PSI, we're going to have to go in here and up the uh, boost cutoff. So we got to go through here, boost cut pressure, we're going to change that from 11. PSI. There we go. I'm sorry the frame rate is messing with the screen, I'm, I'm sure. I'm making it look all flashy. It's not like that in real life. There we go. So now we're active with a boost cut at 12 PSI. I'm just going to roll into it here a couple of times and watch the AFRs. Make sure that we're, we're still plenty rich. Uh, and we'll go give it a few pulls. Alright, so we're going to need to adjust the duty cycle. Let's start it's 65 degrees out so let's start somewhere around 70 percent see if that gets us close to our uh, 12 psi mark we're looking for uh, but like i mentioned we're just going to roll into it here real quick see what our afrs are doing uh, before we step on it because i have not boosted 12 psi before so just want to make sure we ease into it and i don't want to rely <laughs> turn it all the way up to 100% rely on that wastegate opening uh, to save the engine uh, if we hit boost cut even though I've never had any issues with it opening when we hit boost cut just better to be safe than sorry here all right so I'll scroll over so that I have I've changed AFR to the main number here and boost is the small one up top so I'm just gonna let it shift into second here so we make more boost in second and third than we do in first let's just roll into it so there i saw just over 10 psi afrs look good but i don't think we're going to get to 12 at 70 percent on the duty cycle but we'll try we'll try one more time here So we weren't getting there. I've upped the duty cycle to 80%. We'll wait for that to set and we'll see what happens. All right, there we're set at 80% now. Uh, I'll watch the gauge here. I'll let you guys watch the speedometer because it's actually pretty quick. Okay, so the duty cycle is set to 100%. We do have the boost cutout set at 12 PSI. So it should shut us down there if we happen to reach it really quickly. All right guys, here goes. Shooting for 12 PSI in gramps. We're so close. 
I think a little little power brake and starting from a little slower speed should help us out. cut there Gramps did it 12 psi it's always a bizarre feeling when you hit boost cut because you're just accelerating accelerating and then it's like Ugh! kind of falls on its face a little bit and then it accelerates again when it drops below uh, that was fun let's do it again Goodness, that pulls hard. Oh man. You know I'm not gonna be able to turn it back down to 10 PSI now after doing a pull at 12. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we hit boost cut there again. 12.2 PSI. 100% on the duty cycle is a little bit much, but it got us there. Oh my god, <laughs> listen to that blow off out. Wow. Gramps is like a whole new truck again. Blow off valves making race car noises. 12 PSI. I'm really curious what we're putting down to the wheels at 12 PSI if we were doing 407 at 8.8. .8. I think we're gonna have to figure that out at some point. Yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think Gramps is making for power now at, well, 12.2. Um, because it's definitely not 407 anymore. And the impressive number was 523 torque at 8.8 .8 PSI. Man, I have to think we're 600 plus torque now. And Gramps still just purring like a kitten. Oh, here's a stop sign. Whoop, 65. Oh, you guys like my uh, shaking brakes and rattling door panels? <laughs> Gramps is old man. He's got some loose parts. Uh, next time out, I do have the V-Box here. It does take a few minutes for it to hook up the satellite, so we're not going to do it today. But put your guesses down. Put your guesses down below what we're going to do for a zero to sixty. Uh, if you watched the last video, you'll know that we did a four-wheel drive launch and achieved a five point one second zero to sixty. And I believe that was at 9 PSI. Anyway, do you think Gramps is a four second truck? Let's hear that blow off valve a couple more times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so great. Uh, you realize that I'm not gonna be able to pass anyone that's standing on the side of the road without doing that now, right? We're about to accelerate again real quick here. Just to hear that blow off valve. <laughs> oh man, I'll see you guys back at the house. Gramps did it. Good job, Gramps. Seems to be taking everything that I'm throwing at him. He's at 12 PSI now, as you guys saw, um, and super, super quick. I'm, to be honest, I'm ultra impressed at how well the uh, engine and trans have held up. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the tune, of course. Uh, tune was done by Casey Whitmer, uh, and he's here locally, and did a great job. Super safe tune, seems to be handling it just fine. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. I'll talk to you next time.